Let me put on a different game right now. Here we go. All right, guys. <laughs> okay, guys, we're going to play some game called Hot Date. Is it, I don't know if it's working or not. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it's a fucking bug. <laughs> Hello. Uh. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, whatever. I'm Flowers. What's your done name? Uh, I'm not gonna choose boneless pizza this time. I'm gonna choose uh. Good gravy, Boyd's a special name. Very special indeed. Uh, you look lovely. Likewise, Chuck. My, it's not my name. What do you like to do for fun? I sort of have to be playing Roller Coaster Typhoon. It's in my blood. Does that answer your question? Um... Yeah, I'd say so. What about you? Uh, I like to eat ass. Uh, it's not really a life story. It's it's in my bio. Uh, Do you have a happy place? I was once given a name named Joyless Husk. I'm pretty sure this was a friendly jest. Bants, a play on my Jehovah personality. Anywhere is my happy place. Right here. With you. If you're happy and in a place, then that's that. Would you like to see my collection of... Now you want to be memorabilia? Boy, you lame. Oh. Why do you waste your time with that junk? You think it's cool? R. Kelly merch? Is that it? Well. Maybe. Cool. Have. You always been that height? <laughs> I never want to see you again. Or don't. I really don't care. Ethan is my name. You'll tell me what you want. <laughs> it's the same fucking... Oh my god, looks the same. Okay. I'm going to call it Dick. Dick is my top three favorite. <laughs> uh, tell me a bit about yourself. Oh heck, what should I tell you? I'm Ethan. I'm a cancer, I'm half French, I am half, I am amazing at long jump, like seriously. And I haven't got a middle name. What else? 
I hate having fun. Uh, I don't know. What do you want to know? What do you do for fun? <laughs> Look, Dick, I'm very committed to weaving my own clothes. If you can't take that seriously, this won't continue any further. Understand? Uh, pretty much. I like to eat ass. Wow, I'm learning so much about you. This bitch likes to get the ass eaten. Do you believe in <laughs> a thing called love? Obviously, I do. I thought it was pretty evident. You don't need to be smartest about it. I agree with you. Finally, we align. Are you a fan of... Give me exotic animals as pets? <laughs> I want you to know that I'm disgusted by that question. Exotic creatures is definitely not in my top 10 faves. What is your favorite color? Don't even have to think about it. Hushed gray. Okay, that, that's all he's specific. Are you someone who likes to express yourself through interpretive dance? Dearest Dick, I don't go for the mo those modern sensibilities. I'm more into pop and lock scene. I knew it the moment I laid my eyes on you. Spare me your flattery. Save it for the ballroom, honey. <laughs> Fine, I will. Economic information of the Bitcoin, oh my god. Do you like me? I guess, or whatever. Wow. Do you have a bucket list? Yes, and there's only one thing on it. Rollerblading across Australia. Okay. I guess this is goodbye. Goodbye. Take care, dick. <laughs> I mean, that one went better than the last one. Let's just get this over with, okay? Go on, what's your name? Super Dick. Good gravy. Super Dick is a special name. Very special indeed. You look lovely. Oh, you. I woke up like this. Where did you grow up? What's it to you? Maybe I didn't. Maybe I was always this age. <laughs> I mean, it's the same fucking person. Me was tame side. What are your hobbies? Really? You want to know? I know what you're really thinking. Despicable. I'm into researching sub-Saharan African animation to end your nagging. What what meaningless task do you do? Yeah. Ass. Me too. <laughs> I was waiting for that kind of comment, honestly. It took a while. <laughs> Would you like to hear a joke? What do you got? Why couldn't the bike stand on its own? It was too tired. Oh, fuck you. You don't like that? Whatever. It's a joke. You obviously don't get the joke. Uh... Have you ever been to space? Oh, for a second there, I thought you were cool. Sorry, but no, I wish I was kind of in a space trauma trauma dealing with. Oh my god. Ha. Ha. Are you local? I don't think I do or do I. I came with a friend and paid literally no attention on the way here. It's actually scary. What the f- Okay. <laughs> uh, do you have any special skills, you fucking loser? Uh, Okay. A dense thicket of proficiency. I'm also excellent at crafting marionettes. 
definitely have that going for you, stud. That's it. Douse me in your kind words. Do you have any... Wait, where have... Do you have any advice to give? I could teach you a thing or two. Depends what kind of advice you want. Life advice. Don't let people tell you you're bossy. You ain't bossy. You the boss. <laughs> You've turned my life around. Oh, no, I wanted to tell him. You turned my life around, Doc. Take care, super dick. Yeah. Pleased to meet you, I guess. Alonzo's the name, the name you. Super duper dick. That's cute. Oh, fuck yeah. How's it going? It certainly is. What do you do for work? I'm betwixt a few things right now, so you're unemployed. That's basically another way of saying it. Uh, would you like to hear a joke? A joke? Haha, -ha, good one. Oh, you didn't tell it yet. <laughs> Ridiculous. Okay. Um, what do you call a big pile of kittens? I don't care, but just tell me. A mountain. <laughs> wow, what an amazing joke. You must be so proud. I should write that down. I should stab you with that fucking pencil you're gonna use it with what superpower what would your superpower be you lame-o whoa fuck you that, that, that's a really good question actually that, that's what i like to ask like it isn't already i'm a cape boring if it meant i call kiss with questionable morals all the way okay uh yeah sure why not uh you a fan of cartoons that, my friend, is a broad question. Truth be told, super duper dick, everyone likes cartoons. Some people can't admit it, but they do. I got a passion for Dragon Ball Z. Hey, me too. Cartoons is life. You know it. I have shrines. Shrines. Who's your cartoon crush for tonight? You have one. Senpai. Uh... Uh, too many. <laughs> too many is my spirit guide. Uh, I guess. Do you have any advice to give, actually? What kind of advice you after? Give me some romance. Most more needs to speak with a deep whisper. Like this. Always make sure. You've turned my life around. Thanks, Doc. Well, when you've done as much as I have, it, it would be a crime not to share. Oh, okay. Can I help you again? Uh, let's do cool advice. I like to use the desk fan, but if you're on the move, I recommend. Stay in the shade. Ice cream helps. Got any more advice? Life advice. Don't let people tell you you're bossy. Wait, we already heard this one. I think it was from a different one, though. I mean, they all look the same. That's the thing. Oh, time's up. Let's meet up again? Mm-hmm. Why, hello. Lovely to meet you. My name is George. What's your name? Uh, Ultra Super Duper Dick. Oh, that's cute. Oh, it's a super duper dick. Yo. Yo, yo. I'm a regional champ. Just so you know, I can walk the dog all day, babe. Uh, so you, so you can... So you can walk yourself? I'm doing this right now. Are you not getting paid? Oh, my God. <laughs> Bitch, no, I'm not getting paid. Um, do you have a bucket list? I've got a bucket of lists. They're all bucket lists. I've got ambition, son. What's the top of the list? Roll up and cross the street. This is the same thing. What are you afraid of? 
just the normal rational fears and BOA constrictors you not being able to eat ass. Eek. Oh, okay. Don't scare me with talk like that. Fool. Just thinking about not being able to eat ass makes me excited in the hole. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> do you believe in miracles? Well, obviously I do. Obviously, not since I asked. That was pretty evident. I don't hide it. I'm not ashamed. You're entitled to your beliefs? I indeed am. Thanks for reminding me. Would you ever travel back in time? I'd travel back in time if I could be buddies with Darwin. Right, your turn. One person from some time before now to kick back with. What are you saying? Uh, Tupac. My one. Fuck you. You don't know shit. What annoys you? I'm annoyed by many... Uh, many a great things on pop popularity of flares, happy endings, questions, ultra super dicks. Well, fuck you, flim flammery, and a great many more for another time. There ain't gonna be another time. Are you local? Yeah, I mean, I just live around the corner and down the road and left at the lights and third exit on next roundabout. Then pretty much there. Time over. I never want to see you again. Glad we could clear that up. Peace, bitch. Alright, guys. That's going to be enough of this game. Uh, I'm going to get on another one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me just skip over to the next one. Okay, let me see, let me see. Okay, and we're back with another video, but this one is called, and now time to study. Study those fucking turtles. Okay, um, yeah, this is more of a 3D based game. That I don't know anything about it, but we didn't try it out. That's my new high school. I'm not moving there because I want to rather I was forced. My parents and I had to move for job reasons and to hop it off. I'll have to live afar from them since Mendoza Gukin is the only school that locates residently close to our house. And that means almost an entire day trip, if not by plane. For that reason, I'll be forced to start a new life at the campus dormitory, only be able to see my parents once a month if lucky. At least as I heard, I'll have an individual room. Though, who knows? One time there may be some kind of surprise in store for me. I better not think about it too much. I'm not exactly happy with the idea of starting to live alone all of a sudden. Honestly, I don't know how I'll manage this. Well, guess it'll be, I'll be a matter of time. I guess it'll be a matter of being used to it. I hope I can at least find some trustworthy buddies there soon. Luckily, it wasn't that difficult to in enter Mendoza Gukin. Since its academic requirements are not too tough, and even if it's impolite to say so myself, I'm a relatively good student. If Sports successes are practically the only thing maintaining this school at the top elite, according to what I heard. Although there are all kinds of clubs, you'll be looked down if you don't enter sports clubs almost the very day of your arrival. 
And since I'm not good at sports at all, my future here doesn't seem very promising. All in all, it's unlikely that my arrival will be too memorable. And I only hope not to be much of an outsider there. By the way, I still didn't change so. My name's Kumaro Nacho. And for the good or the bad, this is my new life. I'm gonna be a 2D, 3D person. Oh yeah. Let me fix up the screen. There we go. Let's find some people. Well, here I am. This is my new room. At last, I arrived dorm one hour ago, and they took me to the room that was assigned to me specific specifically. The porter of the entrance, a sour-faced man named Retsuya, didn't leave a very soothing first impression on me. If I was looking for nice people here, it seems I have to avoid the counter as much as possible. Difficult as that sounds. Truth be told, though, my room is bigger and more comfortable than I was expecting, so one for the other. Yeah, I think it'll I'll be at ease here at least. After unpacking my luggage and start opening boxes, I've been placing my belongings all over the room shelves and the first touch of what will be my new order. I'm pretty satisfied with the results. Well, and now that I'm settled, maybe I could go on, on the walk to the dorm. The dorm's facilities themselves, at least by a few glimpses I could catch up until now, are also surprisingly good. You could almost say luxurious. Heck, I wasn't expecting to live in such a classy place. No doubt about it, Mendoza Gukin is not any random institution. Contrary to other conventional dorms, this one is this one has hired staff. Meals are served on a daily basis. A fact that, by the way, is greatly soothing for me. Let's say that my cooking skills are basic at best. Of course, I still have to learn how things are organized here. Where is the dining room, breakfast time, places near here to do my shopping and eat outside when necessary. I'm not too happy with the idea of asking all the information to the only person I know in this building, but if it can't be helped, I really hope the other residents are nicer. On a side note, this is a co-ed dormitory. Boys and girls live here all together. Most boys would surely jump and enjoy the situation, though I prefer to be cautious. After all, this could bring dangerous situations like stepping in the wrong room or passing through the wrong place at the wrong time. Yeah, I hope showers and restrooms are also not co-ed. Well, I won't deny that as a healthy teenager I am thinking about possible situations. It gives me some pleasant tickling. Ooh. But since I was always terribly shy, nothing compared to the embarrassment I'd go through if any of these situations would occur to me by mistake. Fuck, I think I will literally melt and better that way because the next thing I would do is spill through the first train I came across. Well, you know, this, n this is not any manga, but I don't think anything good will be awaiting if something like that would. Ah, what am I thinking about upon arriving here? Why on earth would something like that happen to me? I think I watch too many anime. <laughs> Same. Well, let's stop thinking about bullshit and do something productive. Finally calming down, I head to the door ready to leave my room, start exploring the building that will become my home for the next year. Thinking about it, I have plenty of time to go for a, a walk in the street. I should check my surroundings and start learning where the nearest shops are and all that. But it's even more important to learn about the whereabouts of the dorm. After all, this will be my home from now on. Truth be told, I'm not in the mood to see that porter again right now. But what do I do then? Where can I go now? Uh, I'll check the dorm. First things I must learn the norms of this place. Where's the dining room, the shower, and all that. There's always a time to go for a stroll in the city. Besides, probably not much longer until dinner time. I wonder when people have dinner here. Naturally, all the expenses in this dorm are also in charge of my parents, so I shouldn't worry too much about strictly economic details. Though, man, after seeing all the luxury here, I wonder if my father really knew where he was getting into. He, maybe what? Well, he himself insisted in saying that he had it all under control and that his new job would let him face all these expenses as long as he knows what he's doing. Further than that, my concerns are of a different kind. For example, if I ever had to cook for myself, would I be okay? After all, the allowance I'll be receiving from my parents on a monthly basis won't be infinite, and though it's unlikely sometimes I find myself down enough money to go to a restaurant or even buy the daily menu of the school cafeteria. Well, that's not the issue now. While I lose in these thoughts, I step in the hallway and start walking aimlessly. Heck, there are even columns. This seems more like a hotel than a dorm. 
Now I get closer, there's a various different flights of stairs. Where should I go through? This place seems more of a maze than I thought. Hi, dude. How are things going? While well, I'm in the middle of the corridor, I'm moving like a stray sheep. I hear a strident voice behind me. The, per the person who spoke to me like I were a long acquaintance of him is a boy the same age as me, apparently kind and friendly. It's more evident that he's a student of Mendoza Gaukin residing in the dorm. What else could he be as if there weren't enough clothes? He was wearing the official school uniform. You must be the new student, right? Welcome to Mendoza Gaukin. Man, I'm Morita Akiko. Akehiko. Nice to meet you. H Hello? But how could you? Come on, man. It's more than evident. I didn't see you around here before. And besides, I hear luggage and key noises from my room a while ago. And to top it off, you're making confused face. Seems that you still don't know how to move in here. Well, that's what I call sharp, yes? So what? Will you tell me your name? I already introduced myself. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Um, I'm Kumara Nato. And indeed, I just arrived here. I'll be your sec. I'll be in second year in school. It's a pleasure. Oh, great. A pal in all senses. Uh, what? Forgive my boldness, but I'm happy to finally meet a comrade in arms. What do you mean? It's true that you revived here later than I did, but to be honest, I arrived to this compass just yesterday. <laughs> what? What? Fuck. And a dude's boasts like he's a host. I didn't see you around here before. He says, how the heck could he have seen me when not even him was here yesterday? He surely doesn't even know anyone in his dorm. You heard me. I went yesterday through all the things you were going through today. I was a bit worried about how I would manage being, you know, but now we have each other. We're novice pals of Mendoza Gokin. Novice pals? Where does this guy come from? Don't you think it's wonderful to have someone to share your first moments at a new school, not feeling lonely upon your revival, being confronted by people in your same situation? It's the best. Uh, I guess. I'd rather say it's a fool's consolation. Huh, just kidding, dude. But really, I'm here to help you as I hope I can count on you. Mm, yeah, you're right. After all, it's better to walk your first sit in the company of somebody. By the way, how come you entered Mendoza Gokin? Are you a sportsman? Indeed, man. I am a consummate athlete. In fact, I attained my admission thanks to a scholarship on specific sports preparation. I practiced athletics ever since I was a kid. Since my old school became too small for me, they suggested me to do tests to enter a prestigious sports school like Mendoza Gokin. Not to be a brag, but I passed them with no problems, and here I am. And now I'll be finally, I'll be able to fully devote myself to my passion, athletics. I'm so eager to start running in the legendary Mendoza's tracks. I can't wait. I see that's great. I'm happy for you. Without a doubt, this is the most common profile for a Mendoza student. An athlete in all senses who aims at unsuspected goals. Now I have one right in front of me. And I feel a bit depressed since it's evident I'm not in his league. I just met him and I'm already envying Morita San a bit. He was surely fit in here. As for me, hey dude, what's wrong? Your face is gloomy all of a sudden. Fuck, is this so evident? No, it's nothing. I'm just thinking that you're in a good position to adapt to this school. But I don't know if I'll be able to do it. Why, is something the matter? You see, I moved to Mendoza Go Gokin for job reasons regarding my father. I'm not a sportsman. I don't think I'll ever be one. I'm a bit clumsy with physical education. Oh, I see. For that reason, I feel a bit out of place. I heard that if you don't enter a sports club, people look down on you for, at the very least. Don't say that, man. I think you're exaggerating. You think so? Well, it's true that sports preferences are the norm here, but there are some people who simply want to study in them. If they're in any club, they prefer the cultural ones. Those clubs also exist after all, which would not be the case if no one entered them. True, some dudes look down on you for not being a sportsman, but you simply ignore them. It's not like a mandatory to do sports, even in this school. After all, we're all here to study, aren't we? So don't worry too much about it. Mind your own business. No one will eat you for it being in a sports club. Trust me, those are peer pieces of gossip that time exaggerated. Really? Of course, that said, if you ever feel like you want to try sports thing, this is the right place. I'll always be happy to guide you. You'll be my protege. I see. Thank you. I think I'm liking this guy after all. You seem to know quite a lot about Mendoza Gokin. You bet. As the athlete, I have been gathering information about everything. It is always my dream to enter here. Okay, this is a little boy. I'm going to skip. I'm going to skip. Bring me the tutors. Oh my god, it's too much talking. Nope, I'm gonna skip all this. Oh my god, this is so much. Why? This is too much. Okay, yeah, I was gonna skip that.
That was way too much. Just like that, Morita's son starts to guide me through the dorms facilities. Seems a bit confusing, but with his aid. La 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 la. <sighs> okay. Fuck, it's already 6 o'clock. I feel like I just got into bed a few minutes earlier. But the morning light that Timely starts to filter through the cracks of the blind doesn't leave room to doubt. Not even for someone in morning zombie state like me. Let's just get to it. Oh my god, this is too much detail. Oh my god. As soon as she sees me, she approaches me, finally. Good morning, excuse me, are you Komura Nato? Uh, yeah, I am. Hello, I finally find you. <laughs> found you? I was hoping you would be just about to go downstairs to have breakfast. Let me introduce myself. I am Harashima Ayako, the dormitory manager. Oh, hello. Nice to meet you. Now that I think about it, yesterday I met that Sarah-faced porter, but I didn't see any other member of this dorm staff. And it seems that this woman I have now in front of me is no less than its highest authority. Awesome. A prestigious dorm like this in charge of a young woman like her. And so beautiful. Well, wait. That's not the issue here. Yesterday, the porter would see informed me by phone about your arrival. At last, I was forced to go out to take care of some business and then come back until late. I should have been here to welcome you in person. I even talked personally with your father when he was filing the papers for your admission. I'm sorry, I really owe you an apology. Oh no, don't worry about it, Harashima-san. Please, formalities, form, formalities are not necessary. You can talk to me casually. After all, we'll be seeing each other every day from now on. Every day, you say? Please have a seat. She wants me to call her by her first name. I just met her and to top it off, she means an aura of solemnity that is very difficult to ignore. No, nevertheless, it's true she's a very young woman. I don't think she's more than five years older than me. In that case, maybe it'll be easier for me to treat her casually. Alright then, Ayako. Fuck, it's almost as if I had a poor name out the very depths of my throat. However, she smells even more intently upon hearing it, seeing that Bright expression is more than enough of a reward. That's better. Tell me, is everything okay? Do you have any troubles? No. Troubles is that I'm waiting for something interesting to happen in this game. So far, it's just been just a lot of unnecessary shit. So much. So much. I'm just skimming through everything. Okay, now we can go to school. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I don't want to talk to you. I just want to go meet some bitch.
Um. Oh my god, look at all this unnecessary text. I need to pick a better one. Okay, yeah, I'm bored. I'm bored of this game. I tried. I tried. Where's this part? Where is this part? Nope, there is no part like that. Dear Lord of me. Okay, I have one more game. I have one more game, okay? Okay, hello everybody. We're gonna play this game called Ranker. Uh, I don't, don't know what it is. It's one of those another dating simulator kind of thing. So I'm gonna hop right into this. Install. It looks like Tinder kind of shit. Peggy eighteen. So it's going to be mature F. First name. Uh, I guess I'll just put my name. Chris D. Uh, guy. Thera. Heather. Chat now. This is like Tinder. Hello. Sup. Hey Chris D, great and you? Cool, what are you doing? Swiping, obviously. Also listen to some tunes. What are you listening to? Justin Bieber, he hot off. What? Can't sing for shit though. How old are you really? 16. You shouldn't be here for that. The inner is a pretty dangerous place. Low F you don't chat with me if you're gonna hate. Bitch, don't hate. Screw you. Oh my god. I'm definitely gonna match with that. Oh no, you didn't match with me. I'm gonna just say chat now. Hiya. Hi there, Chris D. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Pretty good. Had a great week, I have to admit. What do you do for a living, Chris D? I'm a student. What's your major? Art history. From time to time, I'm more of an outdoorsy type to BH. Any favorite outdoor activity? Oh my god, is that really a winky face? Oh, I was like.
There's this trek around the Black Lake. One of my favorites, too. That's fucking bullshit. That's cool. Anyway, how's your sex life? I'm in a rough patch. It's not been easy every day. Same here. My last relationship ended pretty badly. Sorry to hear that. I hope you're okay. It's just that you don't have to talk about it. It's just that it ended because of me, because of something I did. What did you do? Well, let's just say I wasn't completely honest when ending it. What do you mean? How were you? How weren't you completely honest? Being a how? I guess I grew tired of our relationship. Uh huh. And I ended up cheating on him. You must think I'm a whore, right? It depends. Is that okay if we leave it at that for today and keep this conversation going for next time? Talking about this? Of course. I think it might be better if we cheated directly instead of going through Ranker. You can reach me at. Carla, is that you? Oh my god. That's a surprise ending. Wow. Wow. So, this person ended up cheating on the person that's, you know, you, the person. What? That is a surprise ending. Well, it's a match. Got me some Asian persuasion. Sup, Lavender. Hey, Chris D. What kind of name is that? Before we go into the discussion, I've got a very question. Cats or dogs? Dogs, bitch. Imagine she, she just blocks me. Oh, snap. I'm more of a cat person myself. Why is that? What do you see in cats? Let's forget about it. I'm talk about something else. What do you do for a living? I, yeah, sure. Well, I have to. Well, yeah, Shakespeare is kind of unavoidable, but there are other great authors around. What's your favorite one? He's not on here, but I'm going to go with Charles Dickens. It's a pretty safe mainstream choice. I'm not a huge fan of reading. I prefer TV, I guess. Well, let's not give up just now. We might be able to find some common ground. Favorite Netflix show? House of Cards. Sad face. She, she's like, I'm done with you. Bye. I mean, it's just favorite show. Hate that show. The writing is so fucking bad. You're bad. Favorite type of music? Let's go with alternative rock. She's probably all tired of me already. Be like, good. Fuck you. Okay. 
<laughs> she doesn't like shit. Let's forget about what then? What would you like to talk about then? You already said all that bullshit. Well, how about traveling? I mean, yeah, sure. Why not? Don't really mainly use them to rest. Long watch on the beach. All fucking just wow. Wow. Really original. Enlighten me. Wow. She doesn't have any hobbies. Don't worry, I have to. Well, I don't right now. You're a real sustainer, bitch. <laughs> oh my god, I just want to be mean. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, find more people. Find more freaking Nicholas didn't even fucking say hi to me. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's enough for this game. All right, guys. All right, I'm done for tonight. So thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys on the next one.